two years ago, we spoke to directors of a new company that uh, goes into workplaces to motivate teams and raise their confidence through singing. Um, n- nobody would have their confidence raised through hearing me sing. I know that. Um, but now they're winning awards. Welcome to Georgina Jones and uh, Andrea Beardshaw, directors of Sing and Inspire. Hello, both. Morning. Hello. Welcome. Good morning. First of all, I can't believe it's two years since you were last in here. When we were discussing this, and someone said, oh, yeah, they were in two years ago and they were just setting out with this new idea. I was thinking it can't be two years. It's but it is. Flown. Yes, is, is it, flown it is. As well? Yes. well, if you had um, televisions, then people would see the wrinkles that we've got. So, yeah, it is two years. And the grey hair. <laughs> Don't be unkind. I think we're different women, is that before you know? <laughs> we, well, we must start by saying congratulations. Tell us about the award. What, what is it and what did you get it for? Well, we uh, were very lucky. When was it? Last Thursday, well, was it? Which awards are you talking yes. about? Oh, We've sorry, had several. there's more than one. We have had quite a few. <laughs> uh, last year, we um, were very lucky and we had an award through Arts and Business. Um, and that was our work that we did with the Admiral Insurance Group. And more recently, we had the Innovation and Creative Award for the uh, IOD. This is the Institute um, of Directors. Yeah, yeah, Institute of Directors. And what George has been very humble about is she also won a Welshman Means, Means Business Award as well, which was for Women in Creative Business. Yes. So that was yeah. two weeks ago, three weeks ago as well. So Many congratulations. Yeah. Thank and you. You, said, well. you said you were lucky enough to win. You, you haven't been lucky. <laughs> yeah, you've, we've worked you've our socks it. off. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> we exactly. have. But there's an element of luck there, I think. Yeah. As well. I didn't want to say this at the time, but when I met you, I and mean, we, were, we were in the middle of this terrible recession, first yeah. of all, and I thought, uh, hang on, which big multinational company is going to shell out money mm. to get you guys in to come and teach their hard-pressed staff to sing? And I wondered whether or not it would catch on and whether it would work. But it has wonderfully. Absolutely, it really has. And we've worked with something like over, I think it's 35 companies in the past two years, which is pretty good through a recession. They've all been contracts as well. We've got eight choirs at the moment. We're soon to have, hopefully, 12 by September. So we had one and a half when we saw you last. So, so, yeah, and, and some of the companies are huge that we're working with. Now, the idea is you go into a company, you're, you're, you're called in by the company who may have a problem with morale, people working together, people communicating together, mm. and you get them to sing together. Yeah, every company is different, and they, they use the choir to unite their workforce. So, for example, we work in quite a large uh, manufacturing company, and they wanted to get the overalls working with the suits. So a great way to bond them people together is to get them to sing. It's getting them to work together. It's not about talking about the business or it's not it's much more gentler than that. But also because they're working together through music, they're having loads of fun, then then relationships are cultivated in that session and then they move it back to the business. And then the business see the results, but more importantly, customers see results as well. Because if peop- if you've been singing for an hour, you're going to be feeling good. And if you're talking to customers then, that sense of joy and happiness is going to be passed back to the customer. When you first go into a company, what's the reaction like? Because I would imagine that not everyone is on board straight away. (laughs) It depends on what service we offer. Because we offer um, three different service packages. Um, One is is team building, which is split into two, and that's either short-term, which is a day event. So that's the type of thing where you may have had at the BBC, where you've got a team building event, everybody gets put into a room, like a hotel room or something, for an afternoon. They don't know what event they're going to be doing, and we rock up and they make a CD with us. Now, you get some kind of resistance with that because there's a three-line whip thing going on where you have no choice. That's the activity that's been paid for. Um, And... We're pretty persuasive and we've got an amazing team that work with us. So we're pretty good at turning people. And by general, you're always going to get some resistance because mm. singing's a bit of marmite. You know, some people hate it, some people love it. The people who are ambivalent, we can usually turn. So usually that's fine. The other services that we have, the choirs, which is the long term team building programme, um, that's all by choice. So you find that people come because they want to come and Mm. then that catches on and you get more and more people coming as they get more and more engaged. And then we have training as well. And the training um, is a huge part of our business, which I think we were only just launching last time we were here. And it's all voice centred and attitude centred. It's all very much the stuff that we used when we were performers. Mm. And it's mixing it all with our knowledge of people management and engagement. Um, But again, it's very voice centred. And again, because the training packages are so unique, and because they're so good, you find that people buy into them very, very quickly. The health benefits of singing are interesting, aren't they? I mean, they're both physical and mental, and that can mm, be yeah. very useful for a company. 
Very useful and we've been lucky enough to work with 10 of us and we had a, a fan, well, we've had a, an amazing journey with 10 of us and we've got a really special choir set up in, in Ponty and they're either cancer survivors, sufferers or anyone that's been affected by cancer. Um, we ha- had a research project done by Cardiff University tracking these people going on this journey singing every week and coming over their cancer and their results were absolutely amazing people felt more motivated they felt more included and they also they actually seen a decrease in their pain the pain that they experience through singing every week and through their depression as well yeah so lots of people felt isolated because they were in treatment and they Mm. they stopped going out of their homes Suddenly, they started feeling a lot better. Their blood pressure went down. They started going out in the car. They started going to bingo. They made new friends. They got a support network. And a lot of that was to do with singing. So that was the first study that's ever been done of its kind in the world. And that was by um, the medical department at Cardiff University. Quite amazing for such a short space. And 10 of us are hoping now to roll that out across Wales. And how, what an experience as well to be involved in that. Because it's one thing going into a company and some people are resisting and some people aren't. And you help them and then things get a bit better. But to make an impact in someone's life oh, yeah. when they're at a oh. place like that mm. it must be incredible. It's very emotional. Every mm. time we work with the mm. Sing for Life guys, we... I'm getting just, emotional now. Yeah, just no, listen, about it. <laughs> because this means everything to them. And there's people in that choir that only go to choir once a week. That yeah. is their life. But also they get to gig as well. <laughs> they they perform, they've performed all over the place. Uh, they're always getting standing ovations, which they're sort of getting used to now, <laughs> right. which we need to, need to put a stop to that. Yeah, really. but they, they perform <laughs> in front of royalty. Yeah. They've had their own television programme. You know, there's loads of things they've done. And now... They're like clockwork. They work together yeah. like a team. And there's a, there's 70 of them, you yeah. know, and they work together really, really well. And back, in, very special. back in corporate world, I mean, mm. is, it, is it really easy to quantify that when someone goes back into the call centre or whatever it is or the, or the office or the factory that they perform better because of singing? I think if you ask the right questions, you'll get the right mm. results, really. So what we we have always been passionate about making a, bis- a difference to business. That has been in the forefront always because it's not just a sing-along. Otherwise, it would just be a choir. So we ask the business, whoever that we're working with, to measure results. For example, we work in a large call centre up in Merthyr and we ask them to look at their customer service stats so that when a customer speaks to an agent on the phone, when they've finished that call, they've got a survey to say, was this person helpful, that kind of thing. And that result for the people involved in the choir to the people that weren't involved in the choir went up 40%. So they can gauge that. I think Mm. it's really important to get the business to work with you to find the results, really. Um, But you can see in very small things such as absenteeism, we actually get people coming to work on their day off to come to choir, which is amazing. Normally, some people can't get their staff to work and then get them on their day off. Mm. It's pretty fantastic. Do you think they could do anything for us? Yes. <laughs> yeah. uh, yeah. the, the, the team building that we need to do? Well, we, I mean, actually, we, well, we, have a, we, we, we did have an experience of this because uh, uh, some time ago we did a choir in the BBC called children Only need, News Allowed for, uh, for Children in Need, which was, uh, which was a one-off, thank God. Um, but the interesting thing was that it was all the newsroom gathering together every lunchtime um, in, in people's spare time and it was actually very, very good for morale mm. because for most people in a newsroom uh, where people are working together on a professional basis who often, because of shifts, don't socialise mm, yeah. as much as yeah. they once used to, uh, it was actually a very, very effective tool for getting people to uh, to work together. Not everybody was you a sound success. Like you, you sound like you're about to say there should be a Jamie and Louise choir. No, yes. I, I can think of a number of <laughs> Maybe reasons. Maybe we should get you singing now. I, think that, I can <laughs> think, think of a number of reasons why that wouldn't work. Um, but not everybody can sing, though, can they? they I mean, the interesting That's thing, not the point. No, but we could kind of teach you to sing right now on air and <laughs> improve you. The interesting thing about Only <laughs> News Allowed... He's just glossing over it. He's, he's going to talk and talk and talk. <laughs> I'm with you, girls. Not, <laughs> e- not everybody can sing. Derek Brockway was standing between Lucy Owen and me, and Derek Brockway sounds like an animal in the last weeks of its yeah. life. <laughs> the thing uh, is, it's not about singing. It's not about whether you can sing. It's about team building. Yes. Mm. So the whole point of using a singing group is that there's... 
there's a degree of anonymity in it. Unless you're a soloist, there's a degree of anonymity, which means it doesn't matter what you sound like. What matters is what you sound like collectively. Mm, definitely. You know, and that's the whole point of team building. That's why it works so well in business or in community because it's lots and lots of people working together to get a shared result. Once upon a time, singing in choirs was about older men in blazers. Uh, the, the whole choir thing has been transformed in the UK because of things like uh, only men allowed and only boys allowed and things like that. The choice of music is critical to get people yeah. on side, isn't it? I think so. We, well, the majority of the choirs we work with are normally, well, they, they span in age group, really. But if you're going to do something that is a little bit more up beat it's gonna it, people are gonna get more into it so we use lots of queen mm-hmm. we like queen um but l- l- lately lots of the stuff that we've done has been very current lots of current we're stuff, doing stuff really. like CeeLo green alicia keys um we've done i'm trying to think what we've done very recently we're doing stuff like Supergrass. We've got a bit of meatloaf. We've got all kinds of stuff because we try Guns and... Guns and Roses. Yeah, we're trying <laughs> to cater for all the different genres of people. Mm. We have such a mix of people, obviously. So we make sure we've got one rock, one soul, one Motown, one chart song. And they're all upbeat or very motivational because we need to get the adrenaline pumping. That's the whole physical mm. aspect of the singing. The Commodores is a bit slow, isn't it? It is a bit slow. It is. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's what we're playing next. T- twice, three times a late. What about Bonnie Tyler holding out for a hero? Well, dun, in dun, Wales, dun, that's yeah. very motivational, dun, dun, isn't it? Dun, 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 I think so. <laughs> Yeah, you that was words? good. Well, no, no. You don't have to know the words, just, you know. You can just la it. Yeah. Come along. Yeah. <laughs> you can do it with vowels. We'll teach you how. Really? You do vowels? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, vowels. is massive in singing. Impressive, OK. <laughs> you um, could learn a lot in the next few minutes. Press um, the music, let's have a sing. I doubt it very much, <laughs> somehow. There's only Bonnie Tyler can sing like Bonnie Tyler. Yeah, you, you, Very, very difficult to sing along to, that one. Very difficult. You have to have a very, very gritty voice. Um, <laughs> It's it's not quite as high that as that. That's quite though. a good arpeggio. Mm. Oh, thanks. No one's ever said that to her before. <laughs> uh, and no one will again. Not, uh, not not since the accident, anyway. Um, Georgina <laughs> Jones and uh, Andrea Beardshaw, directors of uh, Sing and Inspire. Thank you very much indeed for coming along this morning. We wish you okay. continued success um, you very with much. winning Thank more awards and uh, going into more factories and companies all over the country and uh, and inspiring people to sing. Thank you very much. You are very welcome. Thank you. Have a lovely Thank day. You.